Let's talk about first order homogeneous differential equation. When can we say that a differential equation is homogeneous? So it is said to be a homogeneous differential equation if we can write it in the form dy over dx equals f as a function of x and y, wherein we can rewrite the function of x and y as g as a function of y over x. So paano ba sinasabi na yun? Try natin yung example na to. It is said that the differential equation x squared plus y squared dx minus xy dx equals 0 is homogeneous. To check kung homogeneous nga siya talaga, i-write natin yung equation na to in the form dy over dx equals g as a function of y over x. So, divide natin muna yung equation na to by dx and xy. So, we will have, this will be x squared plus y squared divided by xy, kasi makakancel yung dx, minus dy over dx equals 0. So, rearrange natin siya. Lipat natin ito doon sa right side. Then, mag-switch sides tayo. So, we can come up with dy over dx equals x squared plus y squared over xy. Naisulat na natin siya in the form na dy over dx equals f as a function of x and y. Rearrange natin ngayon yung function na to so that makapagpalabas tayo ng g as a function of y over x. So we can divide this by xy and this term by xy then. Sulat natin ulit dy over dx for the left side equals x squared over xy is equal to x over y. Iwalay natin yung second term plus y squared over xy, that is y over x. So, if we raise this to negative 1, we can write it as a form that is function of y over x. So, we have proved that this differential equation is homogeneous kasi yung right side na isulat natin as a function of y over x. Before we proceed with the actual solution of homogeneous differential equation, let's look at an alternative way on how we can recognize homogeneous functions. So, a function f is called homogeneous of degree n if f as a function of tx and ty is equal to t raised to n multiplied by f as a function of x and y. Ano mang ibig sabihin nun? Kapag pinalitan natin si x ng tx and si y ng ty, tapos nakapag-factor out tayo ng t raised to n, so that will be homogeneous of degree n. So, try natin dito sa mga functions na meron tayo. Again, papalitan lang natin yung x ng tx. So, this will become tx squared minus then cy. Papalitan natin ng ty. So, expand natin yung ating function. 4t squared x squared minus 3t squared xy plus t squared y squared. Notice na common term si t squared or common factors t squared. So, pwede natin siyang i-factor out and that will be multiplied by 4x squared minus 3xy plus y squared. Notice that this is our original function and nakapag-factor out tayo ng t raised to a degree 2. Therefore, this is homogeneous of second degree. Next, try natin si 2y plus square root of x squared plus y squared. 2 multiplied by tx plus square root of tx squared plus ty squared. 2 tx plus square root of t squared x squared plus t squared y squared. Then, factor out natin si t squared dito kasi common factor siya. 2tx plus square root of t squared quantity x squared plus y squared. Taking the square root, 2tx plus t square root of x squared plus y squared. Then, dahil common si t, pwede natin siyang i-factor out. Multiplied by 2x plus square root of x squared plus y squared. Napag-factor out tayo ng t with a degree 1 multiplied by the original function. So, this is homogeneous of degree 1 or first degree. Lastly, let's try this. So, tx multiplied by ln of tx minus tx ln of ty. Common si tx, factor out natin. Then, matitira na lang sa loob is ln of tx minus ln of ty. 
Then by loss of logarithm, this can be expressed as a quotient. So Tx multiplied by ln of Tx over Ty. So pwedeng i-cancel si T. And ang matitira na lang is Tx ln of x over y. So sulat lang natin to as a difference. Tx multiplied by quantity ln of x minus ln of y. Then i-distribute natin si x. Iwan natin si T dito. x ln of x minus x ln of y. Again, this is our original function multiplied by T raised to a power of 1. So this is homogeneous of the first degree. Therefore, a first-order differential equation of this form is homogeneous if the functions m and n are both homogeneous of the same degree. Let us now proceed with the method of solution for homogeneous differential equation. In theory, pag daw itong differential equation na to ay homogeneous, then by change of variables y to vx, matatransform natin yung differential equation into a separable differential equation in the variables v and x. So, try natin i-prove yun. Kanina, we've learned that if this is homogeneous, we can write that as dy over dx, and that is equal to g as a function of y over x. So, by change of variable, palitan natin si y ng vx. Then, let us solve for the derivative of this equation. So, the derivative of y with respect to x is dy over dx equals, so this is a product of two terms, so v times derivative of x with respect to x is 1 plus x multiplied by the derivative of v with respect to x. Or basically, dy over dx is equal to v plus x times dv over dx. So, ipalit natin ito for the left side of this equation. v plus x dv over dx is equal to g as a function of, so papalitan na rin natin si y ng vx. So, vx over x, that will be v. So, yung right side natin is g as a function of v. Lipat natin si v sa right side. So, matitira na lang sa left side is x dv over dx equals g as a function of v minus v. So, to make this separable, cross-multiply muna natin. x dv is equal to g as a function of v minus v multiplied by dx. And to make this separable, ipat natin lahat ng v sa left side and lahat ng x sa right side. So, divide lang natin by this and x. So, for the left side, dv over g as a function of v minus v equals dx over x. Notice na na-reduce na natin yung ating differential equation into separable differential equation. So, naritira na lang is to integrate so we can get the general solution of the differential equation. Let us now try to solve some examples for this. Let us try to solve the first equation that we used a while ago kung saan pa rinove natin na siya ay homogeneous differential equation. So, hindi na natin kailangan i-prove yun. Solve na lang natin siya. So, gagawin natin, palitan natin si variable y ng vx or i-express natin si y as a product of v and x. Then, taking the derivative of this equation, so derivative of y is equal to v, derivative of the second term, plus second term, derivative of the first term. Palitan natin ngayon yung y ng vx, then si dy, papalitan natin ng vdx plus xdv. For the first term, x squared plus si y, papalitan natin ng vx, so magiging v squared, x squared, multiplied by dx, minus x, multiplied by, magiging vx, and si dy, papalitan natin ng v, dx, plus x, dv, and that is equal to 0. Notice na common si x squared dito, so i-factor out natin siya. Then matitira na lang is 1 plus v squared dx minus, multiply natin, v x squared multiplied by v dx plus x dv equals 0. So we can divide the whole equation by x squared kasi common term siya. So, matitira na lang sa atin ngayon is 1 plus v squared dx minus v times v dx is v squared dx minus v times x dv. So, minus 
dx dv equal 0. Pagsamasamahin natin ngayon lahat ng like terms. So, 1 plus v squared dx minus v squared dx. Cancel natin yung term na to. So, matitira na lang is dx minus vx dv equals 0. We can divide the whole equation by x. And makikita ninyo na na-reduce na natin yung ating differential equation as a separable equation in terms of the variable v and x. So we can now integrate the integral of dx over x is ln of x minus the integral of v dv is v squared over 2. So sulat na lang natin sa right side yung constant. So, dahil initially, yung ating differentiation ay in terms of y and x, syempre, dapat yung final answer natin in terms of y and x din. So, si v, papalitan natin from this, v is equal to y over x. So, palitan lang natin to. ln of x minus v is equal to y over x. So, square, that will become y squared over 2x squared equals c. So, dahil hindi common na meron tayong denominator, Sa final answer, multiply natin yung whole equation by 2x squared. So, we will now have the equation 2x squared ln of x minus y squared equals, so 2x squared times c, 2 times c is just a constant, gawin na lang natin siyang constant then multiplied by x squared. So, this is now the general solution of this differential equation. Next, let's try to solve x squared y prime equals 4x squared plus 7xy plus 2y squared. I write muna natin si y prime as dy over dx. Then, i-cross multiply na natin. So, x squared dy is equal to 4x squared plus 7xy plus 2y squared dx. Check natin ngayon kung itong differential equation ba na to ay homogeneous. So, isulat natin itong nasa left side. Tawagin natin siyang M. And itong nasa right side, tawagin natin N. So, si M, originally as a function of x is equal to x squared. Palitan natin ngayon si x ng tx. So, M as a function of tx is equal to, so si x magiging tx then square. So, that is equal now to t squared, x squared. Notice na si m as a function of tx ay naisulat natin as t squared multiplied by the original function m of x. So, this is homogeneous of second degree. Apply naman natin si n. So, si n originally ay function ng x and y. So, for x squared plus 7xy plus 2y squared. So, palitan natin ulit yung x ng tx and si y ng ty. 4 tx squared plus 7 tx ty plus 2 ty squared. Expand natin. So, 4 t squared x squared plus 7 t squared xy plus 2 t squared y squared. Factor out ulit natin yung common term which is t squared. And we can now see na mamamultiply si t squared doon sa ating original function. So, this is also written or this can also be written as t squared multiplied by the original function and sa function of x and y. And we can see na siya ay homogeneous then of the second degree. So, dahil pareho sila na second degree, we can say that this differential equation is homogeneous. So, pwede natin siyang isolve by change of variables. Then, mare-reduce natin siya into separable differential equation. So, to solve this, palitan natin si y ng vx. So, let y be equal to vx. And taking the derivative of both sides, dy is equal to vdx plus x dv. So, palit natin to and ito for the whole differential equation. x squared multiplied by vdx plus x dv is equal to 4x squared plus 7x multiplied by y, which is vx, is equal to 7vx squared plus 2vx for y. So, v squared x squared multiplied by dx. 
So, notice again, common factors x squared. Highlight lang natin muna tong left side. Common factor, factor out natin. 4 plus 7b plus 2b squared dx. Pwedeng i-divide yung both sides by x squared. Pwedeng cancel. So, matitira na lang sa left side is this term. Tapos, lipat na rin natin to dito sa kabila. Sulat ko lang yung highest degree. So, pwede natin pagsamahin si VDX and si negative 7 VDX. This will become plus, so negative 7 plus V, 6V plus 4 DX equals 0. Mapapansin niyo, pwede natin siyang i-divide by this and by X. And makikita natin that this is now reduced to a variable, separable differential equation in terms of V and X. So dv all over 2v squared plus 6v plus 4 minus dx over x equals 0. For the second term, madali lang kunin yung integral niya. Ito ngayon yung problem natin. Pwede natin i-factor out ito. So dv divided by, factor out ko muna si 2, v squared plus 3v plus 2 minus dx over x equals 0. Sulat natin yung denominator in terms of its factors. Tapos labas ko na rin muna yung constant term. So the integral of dv all over, ano ba ang factor ng v squared plus 3v plus 2? So that is v plus 2 times v plus 1 minus the integral of dx over x equals 0. So paano natin ngayon ito i-integrate? Dahil meron tayong dalawang factors dito sa denominator, pwede natin itara yung partial fraction decomposition. So, isulat natin si dv over v plus 2 times v plus 1 as sum ng two fractions na may denominator na v plus 2 and v plus 1. So, multiplying the whole equation by the common denominator, we'll get dv equals a times v plus 1 plus b times v plus 2. So, distributing lang and pagsamasamain natin lahat ng my v. Then, comparing the right and left side, we have two equations, a plus b equals 0, that will be our first equation. And comparing this with this, so a plus 2b is equal to dv, and this is now our second equation. So, solving this equation simultaneously, we can subtract para makancel natin si a. So, cancel, b minus 2b is negative b, 0 minus dv is negative dv, so b is just equal to dv. Then, from equation 1, palit natin, a plus dv equals 0. Therefore, a is equal to negative dv. So, palit natin dun. So, therefore, now, palit ko lang muna rito, yung integral ng ating first term, hindi ko muna isasama si 1 half. So, the integral of negative dv over v plus 2 plus dv over v plus 1. So, madali na siyang integrate kasi common integral lang ng logarithm yung i-apply natin. So, the integral of negative dv over v plus 2 is negative ln of v plus 2 plus ln of v plus 1. So, ibalik natin to doon. Rewrite lang natin, 1 half. Then, nakuha natin previously, this is negative ln of v plus 2 plus ln of v plus 1. Minus integral ng dx over x is ln of x equals. So, dahil yung dalawang terms natin or yung lahat ng terms natin is may ln, yung constant natin, ilagay na rin natin inside ln. Tapos, dahil may 1 half tayo rito, simplify natin, multiply natin yung buong equation by 2. Gawin ko dito, si ln of c, divide ko na rin by 2. So, multiplying the whole equation by 2, we'll get negative ln of v plus 2 plus ln of v plus 1 minus 2 ln of x equals ln of c. Then we're writing this by loss of logarithm. ln of v plus 1 all over v plus 2 minus 
plus of logarithm then, yung factor na to will be the power of x. So, ln of x squared equals ln of c. Palitan natin ngayon si v ng y over x. From the definition ng y is equal to vx, we can solve for v as y over x. So, palitan natin dito. ln of y over x plus 1 all over y over x plus 2 equals, lipat ko na tong ln of x squared dito sa right side. Then, simplifying pa, ito, y plus x all over x divided by y plus 2x over x equals, by loss of logarithm, pagsamahin natin to as one term, ln of cx squared. We can cancel x and taking e of both sides. So, taking e of both sides, marireduce na lang ang equation natin sa so y plus x over y plus 2x equals c x squared. Natanggal na natin yung ln. And multiplying this by y plus 2x, the whole equation, the final answer is y plus x equals c x squared multiplied by y plus 2x. So this is now the general solution of our differential equation. Another easy way of recognizing kung siya ba ay homogeneous is by checking kung meron kang numerical coefficient doon sa mga terms mo. So, notice here, lahat tayo merong x and y. Wala tayong coefficient. So, that is number one na pwede mong i-check para malaman kung siya ay homogeneous. Another thing, para hindi natin gawin yung pagmumultiply or pagpapalit ng x na tx tapos yung y gagawin ty, check mo yung magiging sum ng exponents ng bawat coefficient so, or nung lahat ng variable. So, for example, dito 2. Dito 2. Ito, 1 plus 1. So, 2 din. And dito 2. So, pag pare-pareho sila ng power, meaning homogeneous yan. In the same way, dun sa ating first differential equation, so, check nyo kung merong constant doon sa terms ninyo. So, wala naman. Next thing, check ninyo yung exponent ng mga variable. So, this is 2. Tapos 2 rin dito. Ito, 1 plus 1. So, 2. So, dahil pare-pareho silang 2, meaning homogeneous siya. So, mas mabilis nyo mag-check kung siya ay homogeneous.